Hello, Reason users. Uh, I haven't seen many reviews on the Rob Papen Predator uh, synthesizer yet, so I thought I'd just make a quick one. Um, this is nothing official. I'm not trying to uh, at all um, claim that I've got you know the review for it, but at any rate, I'll at least give you a slight introduction of some of the sounds. I, s I saw a couple other vids, and I wasn't that happy with what they were showing because there really are amazing presets uh, alone and so if you uh, you add this uh, device to you know your uh, choices of instruments you'll you'll find it on the bottom Rob Papen uh, and so you you know just drag it in and so now that you have this unit um, that's just it starts with like a, a default uh, folder if you check out how many different patches there are uh, there I mean I forget the number it's like some 4,000 or something like that this is just the introductory uh, folder kind of like a, a demo uh, you know folder of patches a lot of arpeggiated uh, sounds are in there um, and you know that they're, they're cool to play with and stuff but I like to dig into the the actual uh, instrument choices I mean look at this each one you've got you know they're they're actually separated by genre you got dance synth classic synth hip hop trance a little bit of dubstep all this other stuff amazing and then some by other artists Jun junkie xl and so anyway um really really cool stuff there and then within that then you know you would click uh that and you'd see all the uh all the bases and and so forth so the way i justified this purchase actually cuz it when i first glanced at it i was like uh, you know, it just kind of looked not that, you know, just like anything new, it was kind of overwhelming looking. But in reality, now that I've kind of learned it some, it's actually simpler, much simpler than the Thor. Anybody who swears by Thor is going to be like, you know, why would I even need another synth? Because I agree, Thor is incredible. And if you know how to use Thor and you can dig into it, more power to you. But I find Thor incredibly complicated. I know that it is, it's a very powerful synth. I guess I'm the kind of guy who likes to just get the presets and tweak a little bit and, and move on with production. So I don't like to start with a, a, a square sound and just, you know, go step by step and spend five hours making one sound when I could have made a song, you know. So that's just how I am. Uh, so anyway, so let's just take a look. Um, so I'm going to go for, uh, we're in the instrument section. And uh, just so you can hear some sounds, I'm going to jump into, let's go classic synth. Let's see what they got, some arpeggiated 80s stuff. Okay, sure. Let's see what that sounds like here. Oh, that's cool. And I'm like t totally playing nothing worth hearing here. Let's do something with some good note progression. Actually, let's go ahead and um, move on to another sound so we can give you more, more samples of what's going on here. Okay, so it looks like that's like a an alteration of the existing one. So some cool sounds. We're just gonna keep clicking through these. That's nice. I'm just hitting notes here on the keyboard. Of course, uh, I have a controller keyboard. Uh, so, you know, tons and tons of, you know, arpeggiated sounds going on. And that's what's really cool is the, the you know, I find this arpeggiator sequencer or whatever really simple to use. Uh, as you can see, these little red dots are, you know, the activated lights. So uh, if you take any sound, um, let's just load a non-arpeggiated sound. Let's get a lead. Uh, let's see what's this. Lead gets narrow. Let's see what that is. Okay, we'll do something with this. I'm sure once it's chopped up, it'll sound pretty cool. So if I go to play mode down here, you just it says like oh, I'll go down to ARP. Okay. Already it, it's got you know every uh, note being hit. And so now I'm gonna just turn a couple of these off. See what that does. See. Add the beat to that. Okay, so I'm going to do a little uh, drag one note out there, drag one note here. Oops, I didn't do that right, did I? There's a 
slide feature for the notes. So. All the effects are right here, real simple. Um, you can. You, this obviously has a mild delay. If I want to shut that off, that's the dry sound. So I mean, look at all these choices. You know, it's just again very easy laid out. It's granted, it's not as pretty. Uh, it's not as you know. Uh, you know, the Thor looks like a you know 3D instrument more. It has a lot of shadowing on the buttons and stuff, and the, the controls are, are cooler looking and stuff. I mean, you just click this, and all of a sudden you see, oh, it's like Windows. You know. It, I'll admit that's not as exciting, but it's very simple to use. I think it's really, really good. So you have built-in compressors, distortion, every cell is just distortion. That's not very favorable. Vocoder, huh? I guess I have to do something more. Oh yeah, there's a, there's a little patching that goes on with the vocoder. Obviously, if you if you flip this unit around, um, there, it has your usual you know CV inputs and gate and all that other stuff. And then uh, there's the vocoder right there. So there, there's a I saw a, a very helpful uh, YouTube tutorial that a guy did on that on how to do that. So just just search for that. No no reason for me to even try because I haven't even done it. So let's see what the lo-fi sound does for this here. <laughs> Okay, so obviously you saw just in the last, you know, whatever minute, I'm just messing around, and it's just really simple to get some more stuff going on in here. Try Gator. Maybe not. Um, I think I'm going to have this video recorded in mono, so you're going to miss out on some of the stereo stuff. But... All right, so that's just messing around some more. Let, let's get into hearing some of the, more of these sounds here. I'm just hitting the keys here, just to give you some ideas. All right, these are the non-arpeggiated uh, sounds. Very simple. So again, why why buy this? Um, you know, it's a synthesizer. You already have you know the subtractor. You've got the Thor. Why would you need this? Again, uh, to me. To spend a hundred dollars, it's a little bit over a hundred bucks, but uh, for a, a, a vast library of pre-built sequences, sounds, you know, arpeggiated sounds, and a lot of, you know, presets. I mean, a huge amount, not just you know, a nice handful. I mean, just amazing amount. I think it's well worth it. But on top of that, you know, not only do you get uh, great a lot of sounds to play around with. But you're getting another synthesizer to mess around with and tweak. And I, I don't know, I just like to, when I'm creating stuff, I don't like to make, you know, seven uh, Thors. Or, you know, I just feel like I have a greater arsenal when I have a mix of units. Um, you know, to have a, you know, a Thor for one sound and then using a subtractor for another. I don't know, I just makes me feel like I have a more, like a real studio going on with more, you know, units that are different. So, to me... The way they're, you know, the way they uh, treat the waves and everything. To me, I don't know. It, it just, that's just me. So anyway, so um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to. Uh, that, that's not really. Lame. A lot of, lot of, all these sounds are like they just inspire. I think. Okay, oscillators, filters, blah, blah. I haven't even messed around with this whole section, the mod section. More stuff than I even know about yet. So, 
Needless to say, it is a very versatile tool, and you can do you know all the things I'm sure that you could do on a Thor anyway. But like I said, it comes with a huge amount of sounds. Uh, so I'm just gonna go go through a couple more just so you can hear. Then I'll try to wrap up this video so it's not too long. Yeah, I haven't found some cool stuff while I'm. Uh, of course, I didn't plan this out. I just, you know, clicked on the video to start recording, so. mess around the keys and I'm already feeling like writing a song so I, to me that's awesome and you can just tweak it a little bit and make a little bit more of your own sound if you want mess around do, it, do whatever you want doesn't take much to me like I said much better than starting at ground zero uh, much quicker and that's that's what I like for production what is the downside of this unit there's one huge huge downside and I'm hoping they'll they'll you know correct it and that is if you're into using a keyboard controller and you want to have, you know, your keyboard, uh, you can assign, sure, you can assign every single, you know, feature that you can imagine probably with, with uh, controllers, uh, sliders, knobs, whatever you want. But it doesn't, doesn't save them the next time you create a unit. So I could, I could you know, sit here and auto map all these sliders and uh, knobs to my keyboard. I'm using an uh, Akai MPK61. And that's great. And next time I open the song, it'll remember it for this one unit. But if I decide to make another Predator, uh, it's like I'm starting all over again. And the other thing is, as soon as I overwrite, say, my slider for my frequency change, slider number one, it now steals the slider number one frequency, uh, frequency change default for the Reason instruments. So I would no longer have this frequency go with that slider so that is a huge hu huge gripe of mine uh, I wish there were global settings uh, that could have these I wanted to make a template so that every time I loaded you know the template it would remember but again it overrides the global uh, presets that are set for the other units I have you know my slider one hits the frequency on the Thor and on the subtractor and you know, the same they're all they're all all the same for some reason it, it knows that it knows that you know that's what's going to uh, work but with this thing nothing's assigned and as soon as I do it doesn't remember it uh, you know so that that's that's my one huge gripe but like I said for for song creation sounds awesome you can do some great stuff with this so I hope this was helpful uh, for what it's worth like I said I didn't see many uh, tutorials out there for the Rob Papen uh, Predator it's relatively new I think it sounds awesome. I think uh, there's a lot of great creative control that's easy at your fingers. Uh, and so to me, it's definitely worth the money to have all those great sounds and to learn on how to manipulate sounds. If you're still kind of new at doing that stuff, I find this a lot friendlier than this. I mean, I, I, <laughs> I don't know, man. This just all these that just gives me a headache. This is all laid out. It's not changing. It's staying here like this, and I can play around with it. So that's my review. Hope that helps, and uh, happy creating.